Good day, my name is Shol and I work for Micrographics. Uh, we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the purpose of this video is to just uh, show one of the new features of Revit 2021 um, and uh, it, in particular the slanted walls. Right, now um, we could have done it in the past uh, through the use of um, mass models and then it applied the uh, wall to the to the uh, face of the mass model, so uh, that uh, was a process of uh, um, in the past, but it's it's been simplified uh, with the release of Revit 2021. So let's uh, let's get into it. Right, so I'm going to simply just draw a, a basic wall, um, and it's uh, it can go to say level one from level two. Um, it's going to draw it uh, um, over there. <coughs> All right, so. Um, then I'm going to have a look at it in 3D. Right, and uh, uh, it's as you can see, it's uh, vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, and then you will see it's got a cross section uh, a property. Now that uh, um, pro pro cross section property uh, just allows you to set that to slanted, and once you've done that, um, it will ask you uh, what is the angle. Now if I say angle of 10 degrees you'll notice that uh, it slants over uh, 10 degrees uh, uh, you know counterclockwise if I go and say back to zero uh, it's vertical once again if I go minus 10 degrees uh, you'll notice that uh, it goes uh, the other direction right um, okay so now if you have slanted the 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 wall and you have added uh, components in there. So if I had maybe uh, added uh, some windows, uh, it's just the standard standard windows that I've got here. Maybe uh, let's use something different. Uh, there's one and there's one. <coughs> right, if I go back to the 3D, you'll notice they remain vertical. Now if you want to uh, change the look of them to align to the to the walls uh, uh, slant you can select the window or both and then simply go and uh, change the orientation uh, from from vertical uh, to slanted and it'll accept the host uh, angle so once you have done that um, it's now slanted to a certain uh, uh, angle if I now do change the uh, cross section of the or the slanting of the, the host or the wall back to maybe zero degrees you'll see that uh, the the windows or the uh, components also adjust if I go back to 10 degrees <coughs> you'll notice that uh, they follow the angle of the wall right so in uh, in essence that's the uh, um, <coughs> the idea with the uh, uh, slanted walls. Just uh, perhaps another uh, one that I can uh, just uh, uh, show. If I do have a curved uh, element, uh, like such, <coughs> right. So this one is um, uh, uh, it's also vertical. Uh, so if I look at that uh, uh, like so, if I now do change that to uh, slanted uh, and put an angle in, you'll notice that it does also uh, adjust. Uh, as expected. Right, same with the uh, um, object that you might have uh, uh, inserted into that wall. Right, so uh, with this uh, addition, with slanted walls, it uh, um, it allows us to to do this sort of thing uh, uh, very quick and easily. Um, while I can also select that and perhaps just show you the, uh, if, if I change it to a construction, a uh, different construction like a, um, a con uh, curtain wall, um, it allows you to, uh, it acts normally as as, as a wall does. Alright, thank you for, for watching, hope you uh, learned something and uh, um, see you on the next video. Thank you.